Good morning, family. It is Monday, March 22nd, and today's reading in the Gospel of John is uh, John chapter 15, verses 18 through 27. John chapter 15, verses 18 through 27. The verse that stood out to me the most in this passage is verse 20. And verse 20 reads this, Remember the word that I said to you, a servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will also keep yours. Here's the reality, and I love the upper room discourse, and I love this interaction between Jesus and his disciples because he's basically getting them ready um, for this post life after him, right? Um, he is getting ready to leave them. And so he's preparing them. He's preparing them spiritually. He's preparing them mentally and ultimately to prepare them physically for what is to come. And so he wants to make a reality to them that you as my followers, if you are following my commandments, because if we look at the, the passages before this, and he says, if you keep my commandments, if you keep connected to me as the true vine, then um, you are my followers, right? And he leaves them this one commandment that you love, uh, you love one another as he has loved us. And so by doing this, we show that we are his followers, but he doesn't want them to get it twisted. He doesn't want them to go in with this um, this idea that they are going to be welcomed and loved in every area of the world and in their their lives, because the reality is this. Jesus is kind of countercultural to everything else. Right. Everything that Jesus taught is counterculture to the world around us. And so he's preparing them. Understand if they persecute me being Jesus, the Messiah, and you're my follower, they're going to persecute you, right? This is why he says, remember, I, I told you a servant is not greater than his master. And so bringing back to remembrance everything that happened in the upper room and everything that he's teaching them, this reality that the world is going to hate you because you are going to stand out from the world. Now, it's kind of a good news, bad news scenario, right? The bad news is this. The world is going to hate you. The good news is that you are following me and you are doing something right if this is happening. And it's not something that we as the church are bringing on ourselves or it's, it's literally this thing of just following Christ. Jesus is simple in his words here. If the world hates you, understand that it's hated me first. There's no way around it. And it's mainly because it's countercultural to the world. It's countercultural to what we are supposed to do. Think about what Jesus says. Love your enemies. The world says, no, hate your enemies. Get retaliation against your enemies. Jesus is saying here, love your enemies. Love is the basis of everything that Jesus teaches in his ministry. And as we as his followers, we are supposed to do. And the world doesn't teach that. And it's this true love, this love that is that is sacrificial, this love that looks beyond what someone has or their ability to pay back. And so the world does not know this kind of love because they don't know uh, it, it. The world does not know Jesus. And so the, the application here is to understand it's good news, bad news, bad news. The world is going to hate you. The good news is that you are following me and that you are in good company if the world hates you on account of Jesus Christ. And so I know that this is not the most encouraging thing that you can hear on a Monday, but understand this in walking in Christ. If we walk in love, if we walk in the fullness of him being the, 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 the vine, we abide in him and we live in that love and understand 
that the world is going to hate you and there's going to be circumstances and and things like that, that we are good company. Let us pray. Gracious and Heavenly Father, Lord, I just pray right now that my brothers and sisters that are watching this video, that so many times we are pulled to try to look like the world, that we want to change your word for what the world is or try to compromise and, and, and things like that. And Lord, let us just walk in love. Let us walk in the love that you are. And in walking in love, that we find our, our trust in you, our faith in you, Lord God. But then also, Lord, that people will see and experience you. And then those who don't, they just won't, Lord God. But Father, we, we trust in you. Help us not to look like the world, but to look more like you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your promise for your gift, and for your presence. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. You all have a blessed day, and I will see you next Monday.